We've been hearing about the flexible display revolution for years now. So where are they? Even Royal's impressive flexible color display, with a 0.01 millimeter thickness and less than one millimeter rolling diameter that was unveiled way back in 2014, still hasn't appeared in a fully flexible commercial product. As Dr. Leol told us, it's quote, a high investment area, and no one has experienced designing products for flexible displays yet, because no one is making enough of them. There are many different materials, semiconductors, conductors, insulators, and barriers that you have to combine into a very thin film. If you change a single material, you probably have to change other materials as well to make everything compatible. So it's not just one single innovation, and that makes sense. But he also claims that it's not only the materials, it's the corresponding processes, device design, circuit design, and product design. All that is new also. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jace, come on, we've seen flexible displays floating around in the trade show for two years now. Why has no one put a product together yet? In one word, it's volume. Volume is key. We've had discussions with different manufacturers before, and they've all been really interested in flexible displays, but if you don't have large volumes, even if the technology is very interesting, they can't take the risk on a new project. This is why Royal has raised over $200 million in capital to start its own production facilities in China for flexible display panels. So when can we expect to see a smartphone with a truly flexible display? I can't say exactly when that will happen, said Dr. Liu, but he did say that we can expect something new from his company this year. For more mature products, perhaps a few years. And it's not all about foldable displays either. Folding and unfolding is just the first step. In the future, you'll be able to roll displays up like a pen and unroll it to have a much larger screen. It's an exciting future to be sure, but one that's always been just out of reach. But Dr. Liu is optimistic. Once we get larger volumes, many opportunities will open up. He's not worried about the market, the market is there. This is why they're scaling up production. So what do you guys think? What are the new uses for flexible and foldable displays? How can you see this affecting you and your device? Let me know in the comments below, I will be reading them.